If you've ever had to call 911 and take an ambulance, the last thing you're worried about is a surprise medical bill. But the No Surprises Act that went into effect last year stopped surprise billing, right? Well, consumer investigator Jacqueline Allen is exposing the ambulance gap, leaving some Colorado families without protection. People have emergencies every day. The ambulance gap. I have stage four cancer. Alvin and Mary Gordy say that's the loophole they fell through last July when he had a seizure at his doctor's office. He was just rocking back and forth and just back to back seizures. An ambulance arrived to take him to Swedish hospital next door. A ride so short. They could have actually put me in a wheelchair and just Will meal. It's a three minute walk. Yes, um, Jacqueline, this is the first EOB that we got. At first, they weren't worried. They have insurance with Cigna and the explanation of benefits was clear. What I owe, zero. But then bills started coming from North Glen Ambulance. More than $1,900 for the short ride. This is just salt on the wound. This just, it's too much. It's yeah. We've hit our limit and it's it's just too much, Jacqueline. Emails state it's because of something called balance billing, aka surprise billing. When there's a difference between what providers like hospitals or ambulances charge and what insurance pays, so the provider passes that difference on to the patient. While in many cases that is illegal in Colorado and across the country, there's this gaping hole that continues to catch consumers off guard. Adam Fox with the Colorado Consumer Health Initiative says the Gordy's Cigna insurance plan is based out of state, not covered by Colorado laws. And federally, ambulances are not covered by the No Surprises Act, which prevents surprise medical billing. This is an issue that we really want to see addressed. And if it's not addressed at the federal level, we're going to do what we can at the state level to, to close this gap. But until then, in a statement to contact Denver 7, North Glen Ambulance's CEO wrote, North Glen Ambulance follows all current balance billing regulations. Still finding out that all of this legislation legislation and all of this work that has gone into both the federal and state legislation still isn't enough to protect us from surprise billing. I had to reach out to you and I had to make other consumers aware. The Gordys say after months of fighting, the bill was lowered to $1,700. After Contact Denver 7 reached out, Cigna did tell the Gordys they are negotiating with North Glen once again. I really want to get a break in this, but so far... For Contact Denver 7, we just have to see. I'm Jacqueline Allen. And a federal advisory committee was created by the No Surprise Act. It has 180 days to make recommendations on fee disclosures and strategies to protect people from surprise billing. So what can you do if you're caught in the middle between your insurance and an ambulance company? Well, Colorado Consumer Health Initiative recommends working with the insurance company to get them to pay more or potentially file an appeal or a complaint. The, also, the CCHI has a consumer assistance program that will help you fight this balance billing, and we have a link to that for you on Denver7.com. And if there's anything you ever want Jacqueline and the Contact Denver 7 team to look into, don't hesitate to call that number or email contact7 at Denver7.com.